I welcome everybody back to Indian Trace. Following a request, which is often really easy for me to do, I just grabbed my little bag of drills. The only display artifact drills, if you will, that I have. And, uh, you know, I've only been collecting five years. I say that often, but for some people just popping by, it's good to get a perspective. But I decided I would grab a little bag. And that's all it is, is a little bag. Because now, in perspective, and there's only one here that's broken, and it, it just I just had to keep it in my displays. There's nothing like it. Never found anything like this. Excuse my voice, little horse. I have been talking too much. You know how that is. <clears throat> <coughs> Nothing like this. Found it at Crystal Beach. Uh, I remember when that base was sticking out and uh, before I had much experience at all in drills and I uh, really appreciate the requests for certain videos and styles and artifacts. Uh, I don't actually seek drills. Uh, some people are crazy about them. They love them. Uh, and some not, you know, to each his own. But uh, who knows? Maybe one day I'll find the, the base of this drill. I don't expect it. You never do. But when I'm in Crystal Beach, you think about it, you know. Look at that. Never seen anything like it around here. Eastern Central North Carolina. But uh, the request, request came in just yesterday. Hey, you know, I'd uh, love to see one of the display videos from your collection of the drills that you have. And it's not like I've set aside some that I don't think are real nice or whatever. Any drill that's full. And some of these have some dings out of them. We'll take a look at them as we go around. Two outside ones now. One from the plateau right here. This little drill here is nice. But uh, I guess in perspective and looking at these drills... They're super rare. I know that. A lot of you guys will vouch to that. Um, in other perspective, and I, and I know that because I know, keeping count, I'm, I'm a little over 13,000 artifacts in five years. So if this is it for drills, then uh, they carry a different value about them. You know, it doesn't change the way I feel about them. I love them. They're nice. They're great artifacts. They serve their purpose. Uh... But I think it's a personality thing. Some other artifacts I think I pursue or would desire more when I go out. Like for me, I just easily, hands down, I'll say, well, I'd love to find a smoking Guilford Yuma. Just love them. They remind me of the Sedalias that you guys found out there in Missouri. Look at this piece. Found a B&B &B field. I think this drill was used up. Might have been longer on the, the tip. But uh, I do think it was a drill. A unique little piece there. So because of their rarity, I decided just to keep that in my, in my collection. It's easy, fits into a bin with all these drills. And yeah, I will get to that. It's one of my favorite drills. And it is uh, sugar quartz. So this will do a good job to justify the quartz, uh, excuse me, the drills that I have uh, from one of the subscribers out here. And for those who are drill lovers, look at this piece. I found this at Riverwood. It's a site in Site 4, down by one of the rivers we have here. Of course, I didn't expect it. It hasn't been a site that has produced a whole lot of artifacts, and I'm not able to get there much at all. Absolutely great piece. A little ding off the ear, but clearly what you're looking for. I guess people call it a lost lake drill, but it's just a great artifact dinged up a little bit. It might even be a little bit off the tip. You can see that. But uh, clearly a great quality display artifact. So, it made the grade. I mean, it make a great case as it is. And, uh, you know, I've had more than one recently. Look at that picture. Who have said, man, you should go ahead and fit those right into a case. Uh, just some of you know already. Uh, and I've had discussions with many. Uh, for lo I have some cases. I just can't do it now. Uh, these go six foot under or more <laughs> underground uh, if I'm going anywhere, if I'm traveling. Because uh, as many of you know, when you find these here, look at this type of drill found at Mecca. 
See, once they're found, these are, if they got uh, stolen because of the nice frame on the wall or whatever, they just grab it because it looks valuable. Uh, and, and to me, that's completely irreplaceable. I don't care whether they steal gold or silverware or a stereo or a TV. That's all replaceable. But these artifacts that we find, guys, and girls, are not replaceable. So they just have a way of disappearing. I've got lots of woods. I've got lots of yards. Uh, and I'm not one of those preppers that have these big bolts and everything underground and what have you. You know, these big cash storages. We'll just leave it at that for now. Disappearing underground is the best place for them. Look at these pieces. A piece from Beaver Point right here. A little pencil drill. One of the first ones I've ever found. Just my drills. You know? Just my drills. And not many. Because when we whittle it down a little more into the collection, uh, my display box, I hold about maybe 800 artifacts. And just these. Which is three and six. About ten. Uh... That's it for drills, 10 out of 800. It's crazy, right? Point from site five, Mecca. Don't really think it's a point. I really believe it's a drill. Somebody suggested to me and I looked at it closer and I think very well could have been. Very well could have been. I don't think it's a point. I really don't think they would have used that as projectile. And another one, very similar to our other lost lake down here. So I just wanted to give my best effort to show my drills, uh, honoring the request that came in. I said, yeah, that's an easy one for me. Uh, I didn't go out today, it's just, it's cold. 20 degrees, the wind chill is, and maybe 25, it's just tough out there, tough. Free skin cold, you know, and uh, I hate putting on six, seven layers just to go out. It's a, it's a pain sometimes, what a nice drill that was. That was from the basin. Thing of beauty to me. Just happy to find that. So, then we had this quartz piece from High Rise. I was back and forth whether or not this was a projectile or a drill. Still don't know for sure. It's sort of a sugar quartz base, really resilient stuff. So it might well be a drill. And I think to myself sometimes, if these were drills, how come they're not more smooth and worn off on the tips as drills would be? I guess it depended what they drilled, right? If it was soft wood stuff, but uh, most of the smooth bore holes, I will agree with Rob as we look at this last one. A drill. The smooth bore holes in stones like gorgets and banner stones. Uh, you could use a reed or more than one reed to drill through that with sand mixture on a spindle to drill perfect holes through those things. Uh, and so I still, as many of us I think are, am in mystery about what all these serve the purpose for, but they're completely and uniquely different. This was a point found at the Falcon. And it is sugar quartz, so it's really resilient. Might look a little crude, but that's an incredible piece. Why not, right? So, that just about does it here between Christmas and New Year's. I hope everybody's going to have a great New Year coming on in. Put your trust in God and your honor to Him. So from Indian Trace to all of you, everybody out there, I just wanted to show you a couple of these drills specifically for the request, but for those of you who are drill lovers, it's just what I got, you know, and uh, I'm thankful for it. All in all, look small, miss small. Be well out there and be safe.